But first tonight, this half hour, we want to talk about the rescue efforts underway. The search for survivors after deadly tornadoes tore through Kentucky and neighboring states. 64 people are now dead in Kentucky. 105 are still unaccounted for. Eight people working at a candle factory in Mayfield, Kentucky are among the dead. 100 employees were inside that factory when the tornado hit. Now, emergency management officials say that this process to find folks is going to be slow and tedious. Because we have to very methodically rig the pieces of steel, cut the steel, and then move them away. And then as we move those away and they create additional void spaces, then we put canines into that section to help locate any victims or casualties that still may be living inside that building with those numbers that are still unaccounted for. Among those rescuers and those aiding, more than 300 National Guardsmen on the ground in Kentucky. Organizations here in the Carolinas are also sending help to areas hit by the storms. That's right. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris joining us live now from Charlotte Douglas International Airport. I mean, Lana, we've seen the images there. We know what kind of help those folks need. So it sounds like they really need some volunteers and, and other donations too. Yeah, volunteers are definitely needed right now. I'm told a lot of these hard hit places are small communities where everybody knows everybody. So everybody's feeling each other's pain right now. And one man who's on the ground in Arkansas right now tells me that what he's seen out there has been heartbreaking. After a string of tornadoes turned communities across five states to rubble, thousands of people are left dealing with the aftermath. A lot of them are just trying to survive. Clay Steelman with the Samaritan's Purse is on the ground in Truman, Arkansas. Here in Truman, some of these neighborhoods have been having to go with the past couple of nights without power, and it's dipping pretty close to freezing here in town. Steelman says what he's seen has been heartbreaking. We drove by one house yesterday. And there was a lady just sitting on a box staring at her house that had been completely wiped off. Stillman says it's a trend he's noticed across the community. You hear a lot about the thousand yard stare that soldiers get when they come back from war. Um, you can kind of see that in the homeowners as they just sit and stare at their house. Stillman says some have left town to stay with friends or family, but not everyone is so lucky. And some of them are living in the homes. Uh, with that have the tree debris on them and the roof is gone. They're just living in them because that's all they can do. Steelman says the Samaritan's Purse Disaster Response Unit carrying supplies and equipment have now arrived in Truman. Volunteers will be sent out to help homeowners tarp roofs and remove trees and debris tomorrow, hoping more will sign up. There's always a need for volunteers. Steelman says they'll take anyone willing and able to help families recover from a rare outbreak of tornadoes that upended their lives in what was supposed to be the most wonderful time of the year. You normally see tornadoes in the springtime. But now seeing it in Christmas time and you're sitting at your house and you see your kids presents and the Christmas tree and all that has now been obliterated. I mean, you can only imagine what people out there are going through. Now, Steelman says that to volunteer with Samaritan's Purse, you don't need any experience. They'll tell you exactly what you need to do out there. You would need to cover the cost of your travel, but Samaritan's Purse would cover your food and your lodging and your supplies, pretty much everything else. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte. The need is definitely out there. Lana, thank you for that report. Lowe's is donating a million dollars to tornado relief. The money will go to the Red Cross and other partners. Lowe's emergency response team, which is made up of store associates, is also in Kentucky to help out. They helped board up the Mayfield Police Department and City Hall. Volunteers also donated emergency supplies to light a senior living home that was left without power. You can learn more about their efforts and how you too can help on our website, WCNC.com.